Welcome to Crafting with Louisa. Today's video is um, part of the Pootles Designer Series blog hop, um, or video hop, sorry I should say. Um, and it's all to do with um, our Designer Series paper is um, by three. Um, and get one free. It's a mouthful. Um, so today I'm going to use the um, tropical tropical escape designer series paper because that's one of the ones. So I'm going to use that. Um, and I've been mulling it over for ages. And I been to the garden centre and they had little mini um, bath bomb. Um, they had jars of them. Um, one of them was a really pale pink and the other one which I'm going to do is a green. It's a little bit blue, sort of a bluey green, but anyway I'm going to go with it anyway. Um, so this one I used um, Blushing Bride and the because that's one of the colours in the um, designer series paper. Um, so today um, I haven't cut anything yet, and I don't know what um, colours I'm going to use. I've got Shaded Spruce and Granny Apple Green, two of our new colours. And um, I'm using one of our um, 2x8 cello bags as well. So, um, I was thinking of doing... that colour. I might do that one with the shaded um, spruce. Um, I was going to use um, oh gosh what's that new colour? Soft sea foam. But I didn't want, because you're not using very much paper, I mean not stamping today because I wanted to concentrate on the paper. Um, and I didn't have any of the scrap bin and I didn't really want to cut off a tiny bit for just this project so that's why we're going for a slightly darker green but anyway so you will need a piece of cardstock um, cut to what? that's a good point one and seven eighths uh, yeah one and seven eighths because even though it's the cello bags by two, um, I tried it with two and it just you just couldn't get it in. So that's why I've done it that way. Um, and then I've done it by six and a quarter. So you can get it. Um, we're only doing one cut on the paper, so um, I don't know whether to use that side. I might use that side. Um, and then for the designer series paper, we wanted it six, so keep it as it is. Um, and you want it one and five eighths. So one and five eighths by six. So that's a bit that's going to go in the bag. And then you will need a piece two by three. Um, and this is going to be this bit at the top. So three, uh, three by two. other side of that three by two cut in that cutting and there's lots of the beautiful paper on sale 
So, oh, and I will leave, I forgot to say. Well, I will leave in the description will be a link to all the other um, video hops. So this bit's going to be one and three quarters. Make sure your pattern's going that way if it matters. One and three quarters by two and three quarters. Okay. So that's all the cutting done. So we'll get to gluing. Um, if I can find my snail. So this piece, we're going to glue to here, and we're actually going to um, you see all the bath bomb stuffs everywhere. Um, my poor snail. Um, and we're actually going to slightly curve this because it was a bit of a tight fit. I think it's because I was using card as well. So what you need to do is just on the edge of your tape, once you've got these together, um, glued together, what you essentially want to do on the edge of your tape, I'm just going to use these from a, another project, ignore that. <laughs> what you want to do is, if this is your edge of your table, you just want to bend it down. Because if you just fold it, you'll get um, a crease in it rounded that and then what you want to do with these bits is fold these in half and you're folding it along the long edge and then we're gonna you could easily use the tag topper punch, but I'm going to use um, one of our new stamp. Well, one of our new stamps? No, because it's a punch. <laughs> one of the new punches and salo bag. I don't know how many you get. Fifty, and they are food safe as well. So if you want to put sweets um, or whatever that you've made, um, and we're going to stick. Well, what we're going to do first is corner round because this is our corner rounder now corner around two of these like that and then you're going to go in with that um shape which is gorgeous and they are gorgeous together so you're getting that and then glue on the end and we're going to use that punch um but you need to punch them together when you do that um, and be generous with the glue because um, it will this will have to bend a little bit as well so then you want to put that there and that crease Probably get it slightly more in the middle than I just have. But hey hey. Okay, and then we're going to go in, and that little line there is a the middle, so you can line that up to the middle. You could measure, I can't really be bothered. And this one, the other ones obviously go in the corner, this one goes in flat. And that is just literally, so I've got a place to poke the ribbon or the baker's twine. And it will just go to the edge of the um, designer series paper. So then what we're going to do is get some, in fact I'm going to use a bit stronger, use um, tear and tape. I'm going to use this because it will be quicker. And this reminds me of the old um, last fuse. And then you're going to get this and you're just going to lie it in. 
Um, am I? <laughs> I tried, I don't know why I did this when it was full. Don't do it when it's full. Very difficult. So then you're going to get this, and you can also, as well, you could also just manipulate that bit a bit round if you wanted to, too. And then you're going to slip this in here. And this as well, actually, if you didn't have bath bombs, just make a gorgeous um, bookmark as well. And I've lost my bath bombs. And these, strangely, I don't know what the pink ones were, but these ones are watermelon. Don't ask me why a watermelon is green. I would have said it was more of a pink, but there we go. So then you're just going to slip these in. And they are a tight fit. Oh, gosh, look. That just as well went up right up my nose as well. I'm surprised it isn't seen. And I happen to have five because it was... 10 for 2 quid or something. So, yeah. <laughs> and you will get dust if you don't like glitter. I didn't use glitter. Okay, so, got that. We've got that there, and I am just going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to grab my, this is my ribbon box, um, and I'm thinking that I might use, this is a pool party baker swine, and it comes in a duo with um, oh, petal pink I think. So I'm going to use some of that, I think. Lost my scissors. Lost my scissors. I lost my ruler and it was in the scrap paper bin. Don't ask me why that was in there. So you're going to wrap around the back and they're going to paste it up. Through that little hole. Mm, no, I've cut far too much baker's twine, but there we go. Love this baker's twine. Oh, wish I did it in every colour. I wish I did that ribbon in every colour that's stamping up to you because I just love it. And then I don't want two long strings. So I think these are going to go in my um, uh, present drawer for Christmas time. <laughs> I don't do craft first, so not that I think I want to sell least things that I touch, but anyway. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed the little um, video hop. Um, I will leave all the other videos that are part of the hop in the description. Um, and I will also leave a blog post in the description as well so thank you very much i've been louisa and i'll see you next time bye